Hello everyone, it's Corbett here for another video review, this time we have the McVitie's Jaffa Cakes Festive Yule Logs. Yeah, so it's basically, <laughs> well I guess it's like a Jaffa Cake mini roll really almost, isn't it? You know, so there we go. <laughs> yeah, so an interesting one. I think, I'm sure these have been available, you know, throughout the year, whatever, just as normal Jaffa Cake cakes or whatever, but um, to be honest with you, I've been quite impressed with the Jaffa Cake range of um, cake bars, so, you know, I thought I'd give them a go either way. So they might just be a repackage, probably are, but we'll see, you never know, might be some difference. Um, yeah, there we go. I think that's the gist of, I mean, you know, it's what they are. Basically, those who don't know what mini rolls are, by the way, it's kind of glossed over that. It's Cadbury's do a um, race called mini rolls. No, it's kind of, I think you'd probably say the first of the kind of like the sort of cake bar -y type things where it's actually a bit like a sort of, basically look like this really, but um, rather than uh, like they've got like a cream centre rather than that like Jaffa cake centre and the sponges are chocolate. Um, that's basically the difference really. So yeah, so and since then there's been a few variants of them and different ones and different companies doing the same things. This seems very similar to that, although they might be slightly different. They look the same, but they might be slightly different, but the, the concept's the same, I guess. Yes, what does it say? Um, yeah, blend of dark chocolate, light sponge, and smashing orangey centre. Yeah, that smashing centre sounds familiar. I'm sure I've heard that description before. Um, yep, and it says it again in a bigger, it's in the sort of like the glamorised uh, description there. Um, Jaffa Cakes Festive Orange Yule Logs. Blend of dark chocolate, light sponge, and smashing orangey centre. <laughs> same thing again. If you enjoy these, why not try something else? I think delicious Jaffa Cake bars, okay. Mm. They are quite nice, actually, those. I'm, I'm impressed with them. No official, no official colours or flavours. Uh, typical number of cakes per pack, five. Well, you'd be disappointed if there was any less than that, I have to say. Um, you know, so fifth less. Um, right, so calories per cake, 26.5 grams. Um, it is 98 calories, 2.7 grams of fat, 1.5 of which are saturates. Yeah, each cake is 26.5 grams, is what I meant by that. Super vegetarians, it says as well. Yeah, something I mean, looks very nice. It's very Christmassy looking, isn't it? I think you'd say. Very win wintry looking, anyway. Um, yeah, lovely snowflakes, lovely snow on all the Jaffa cakes. Um, mm, I mean, it looks very nice, actually. Very nicely presented. I mean, it does look like just a repackage, as I say, but I think it's a, it's a nice repackage, so there we go. Okay, well, I think we should I give it open then. Yeah, check it out. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's give it an open. Okay, once these McVitie Jaffa cakes Yule Log, so we're going to give these an open. Now, the original. Well, not the original, but the um, expected problem is that there's going to be gappage all here, and it's, there's flourishes on this package as well. I say this all the time with these cake bars. You know, I feel like, uh, you know, flogging a, you know, um, flogging a dead horse, is that the, I don't know what's <laughs> not, sure not sure if that's the correct term. <laughs> um, terminology, actually, phraseology, I'm not sure now. There's some, there's some expression like that I'm looking for, I can't think what it is, but uh, um, is it beating? Beating a, uh, something about beating a drum or something, I'm not sure what it is, but beating the same drum, fucking a dead horse, I don't know, I'm doing both of those things probably, who knows. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, 23 centimetres in, uh, in length it is, roughly, with, I'm not, I'm not pushing them out or anything, I'm not being exaggerating it, so 23 centimetres there, so, so give them an open. Yeah, I've done loads of reviews by the way, um, so in the top, one of the top corners there'll be a link to all my reviews, I've got 700 of reviews now, 710 I think, ridiculous. So we'll go check those out, and uh, yeah, if you can check out the Moon Program as well for exclusive reviews. So, be hugely great way to help out the channel. Like and subscribe, all the usual stuff. Hugely appreciated. <laughs> okay, uh, so let's have a look. Um, yeah, so well, the well, the actual cardboard now is uh, is twenty, just over twenty centimeters, twenty point three, twenty point two centimeters. So it was twenty three, wasn't it? So it's now now the actual cardboard um, is twenty point three, and then the actual cakes in the middle, roughly. We're about uh, 17 and a half, so we've lost, you know, rough basically six centimeters there. And I'm sure this isn't six centimeters wide, <laughs> um, this three and a half centimeters wide. So we could have at least another cake bar in here, basically. So if I take that out and put that to the side there, you know, pretty, yeah, I mean, I'm not exaggerating. You can see the polish one side to the other, uh, yeah, so you could, you could have fit with a cardboard and this extra bar in. Let's just measure it. So it's 23 centimetres. Yeah, 23 and a half centimetres. So yeah, pretty much fits another bar in there. And that's with the cardboard. Don't forget there is actually space in the cardboard. But it's not as bad as it was, actually. You know, it's still bad. Um, but it's, it looks a bit more acceptable here. So I don't know if my videos are watching my videos, but it seems to be a bit better than it was. But again, once we take them out of the wrappers, yeah, we'll see it again, won't we? <laughs> okay. Let's see, so here we go. Yeah, so, right, I'm just gonna, before we even start, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, you see the problem, you can see the problem, can't you? You know, look. 
Do you know what I mean? So there's all so as well as there's been a slight gap here, you know, so uh, there we go. You see there's a the gap on the top. So how many extra bars do you think is the is the you know could we fit into that area of wasted space there? You know. At least one. So we could have at least one in the missing packaging and at least one um, from the missing bits at the top, space at the top. So but maybe they haven't been listening to me. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, give it a measure then. So yeah, it's about uh, about 6.9 centimeters long. Uh, the width, well, the width is a bit of a funny one. At the bottom, well, yeah, width about, about 3.1 centimeters, 3.2 in places, and the height. About 2.3, 2.4. Let's give it a cut as well. Yeah, so we'll see. Well, yeah, let's just let's just do this. So yeah, you can see the measurement here. I mean, you know, again, let's say uh, keep doing this, but uh, about nine and a half centimeters there. It's the height there. So just to show me, see me measuring it. Yeah, nine and a half centimeters. And then uh, this, I'll say, the height of this is about seven. So two centimeters there. So yeah, you know, two, four, six, eight, ten. So basically, could fit an extra one, couldn't you? Really, in there. So yeah, extra one and a half, maybe. <laughs> oh, I get fed up of working out. You're working out every time. You know what I mean? I'm sure you're fed up of seeing me, but you get the point. I think <laughs> it's terrible, really. You should we get used to it? Though? That's the problem. I don't want to get used to it. You know what I mean? I don't want to. I don't want to be. Um, let's use this uh, coaster over here. <laughs> get in the way. Uh, I don't want to get. I don't want to be used to it. Saying, so, "Oh, I'm fed up of it now." You know, I want to keep measuring it and. As I say, um, beating the same drum, whatever it is, um, you know where, yeah, you know, because it's 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 bad, isn't it? It shouldn't be like that, and I shouldn't be, you know, ignoring it or getting complacent with it, and that's what I'm trying to avoid, really. And I'm kind of doing that, which is annoying. Um, so yeah, so you get the gist of it, really. Is that is that you know, but you can fit in so much more um, with these. And I realise they might do it for shelf presents and things. It might not necessarily be just to make it look like there's more in there. But again, shelf presence, that is kind of what it's doing, isn't it? Making it look like there's more in there. Um, so, yeah. You know. So we've got the flourishes and the empty space in the box. Yeah, so we're going to edit this in, actually. Yeah, I'm just going to, you know, because I thought, you know, I'm not letting them get away with it. I'm just going to see how much more we could fit into this. So, yeah, so we've got, um, as I say, it's, it's about, uh, yeah, it's about nine, well, it's a bit high. I'm not sure it was nine and a half before, but it's about yeah, about nine point nine centimeters tall actually. <laughs> it almost seems to have changed height, I think. But yeah, so anyway, it needs a seven centimeters. So let's just say three cent, two and a half centimeters for argument's sake. Um, it's at the top. Yeah, nine and a half in some places at least. So we'll say there's two and a half centimeters gapage. It needs a seven centimeters. Let's say two and a half into you know, so that's it's five spaces missing essentially. So we're two and a half times five, what's that? Twelve and a half or something. So you could easily fit Yeah, almost almost extra about one and a half extra bars at the top, couldn't you really? And seven is one and half of that's three point five, ten and a half. So basically one and a half extra bars where really you could fit in the missing space at the top. And then at the side, as as we saw, you know, um, there's basically enough space for an extra one in there, pretty much. So half in there. Well, extra half of one at least. You can see half a bar here. And then there's the fact that the uh, that's that's actually about roughly two centimeters. I'm giving putting a bit off there because it's bulging out a bit, but two centimeters. And then the fact that the actual phase went up to twenty three centimeters with the uh, with the flourishes. Um, so that's you know this is about twenty point two or something. So that's roughly about two point eight centimeters there. So you got two and a half or two and eight, two point eight. So about almost about five four point eight centimeters. And these bars themselves about three centimeters so that's an extra one as well and then plus the space at the top you've been missing which is another two or is it two centimeters you know what I mean two and a half so an extra two cent at least at least two bars maybe even three that you could be getting into there so there we go so yeah frustrating that there we go I fell up of um, measuring that every time really I'm sure you're saying but you know it got to be said I, as I, said, I did the reason I went back and did it because I thought no I'm not letting them get away with it. I'm not being complacent about it um, you know, it's a terrible thing that they're, you know, could be essentially be giving you at least two extra bars in the space that's wasted inside those, um, inside those packs. Let's give it a cut. See, it kind of collapsed a bit there. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So it's got the sort of like the quotation mark look to it, at least on uh, this side. This one's a bit more all over the place. 
Um, but then in a good way because there's more looks like there's more filling so yeah but the chocolate you could see it all separate <laughs> you know all kind of collapsed off didn't it there you go it's quite thin chocolate but there we are but it looks very nice and uh, let's have a give it a smell Ooh. it smells very nice as well it's quite a bit slight orangey cakey smell it smells like a jaffa cake actually basically <laughs> but imagine when you bite into this it would just all fall apart it seems so but let's say uh, put that to the test let's give it a taste <laughs> let's do it Right, okay, I want to give these yeah, the Vintage Jaffa Cakes festive Yule Logs a taste. So I've got a, as you would have might have seen before, I've got um, some we opened earlier. <laughs> I'm going to eat this full one actually, so I did slice one in half. I'll eat the full one first, so uh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's uh, give it a go. Give it a taste. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Keep checking, just checking it's recording over there. But <laughs> Hang on, is it recording? I hope so. Okay, let's give it a taste. <laughs> mm. Mm. It did um, bite quite well. You can see a you know, good... Um, Sort of a quotation mark, sort of in uh, centre there, which is hmm, that little swirl you'd expect in there. And it looks pretty similar to what you've got there. I think it looks um, pretty spot on, actually, even even better than it does perhaps on the on the front, you know, more or less. Um, better shape for sure. Looks like it's got a flat bottom, more of a flat bottom on the front of the wrapper. Hmm, not bad, you know. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I think. Um, It's not too bad, I think. I mean, the sort of cake bars seems to be better. These uh, these ones seem a bit um, I mean, cake bars have like a sort of um, basically sort of jaffa cake topping at the top of them and then the sponge underneath. It just seems to work a bit better that with those ones. I think these ones just don't seem to taste as good. Hmm. It's harder to discern the jaffa cake taste and orange taste rather. Hmm. Just because it's surrounded in sponge and not quite as concentrated, I guess. It's not bad though. The chocolate's not too bad either. It's a uh, kind of a, hmm, hmm. a good representation of the Jaffa cake chocolate. Yeah, dark chocolate. No, sponge isn't bad either. It's not bad, you know. Um, it's just that um, I think it's just, hmm, it's just harder to sort of detect the Jaffa, the, the orange taste in these ones as, as opposed to the cake bar equivalent. Hmm. Sponge isn't too bad though, you know, it's not bad. It's not bad all round really, it's just not as good as the cake bar ones. And I think the cake bar ones really work a lot better and a bit more similar to the Jaffa cake concept, you know, where they've got the same, you know, Jaffa cake bit at the, well, the orange bit at the top and sponge surrounded in chocolate. So they're quite an accurate representation of them, the sponge being slightly different. And this one, again, is just the same thing, it's just done in a different way. You can see there, but it's just, you can just, I don't know, it just seems to not quite work as well. Hmm. No, this is still nice, but yeah, I don't know. It seems to work better when they're when they're more separated. Um, I don't know why that is really. I'm not afford to make much of a difference, but it seems to. Uh, hmm. So I do quite like them though. Hmm. It's just not quite as jaffa cakey as the cake bars. And you could argue, well, if you're going for the cake bars, why not just get a jaffa cake? <laughs> well, hmm. The difference being is it's kind of the sponge really. It's just a bit it's just a bit different. It's just the same thing but slightly different. And it It's really just a sponge, I guess. It's um but yeah, it is a valid question. And to be honest with you, I think if you do like Jaffa Cakes, the answer really is just to get Jaffa Cakes. <laughs> Even with the cake bars. But the cake bars are nice, I have to say. And these ones um but these ones just aren't as good. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. But nonetheless, you have a nice orangey taste, and the sponge isn't too bad. It just, I don't know, I think the orange just isn't quite as strong, or it just doesn't seem to work as well. I don't know what it is, really. It's just, I think it's just the fact that the sponge is a bit more mixed in with the orange. It doesn't seem to work as well um, in this game, that's the gist of it. But other than that, it is pretty nice. Um, it does evoke, to an extent, the Jaffa cake taste, obviously. Um, but I think just not as good as the cake bar in any way. So I would just recommend the cake bars over these, basically. But they are still nice. So I think a three and a half out of five. Um, but there's just a better product out on the market. And I have reviewed the Jaffa cake cake bars. Um, there's many, they come in many guises. They do various different ones of them over the year. And I think they've done about three different variants, at least um, this year. And I've reviewed them. Um, <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> they're quite interesting ones, really. But they are, you know, they're all the same, pretty much. I think some of them have purple, purple sponge and things. But I think still the taste was the same. Um, 
yeah so we'll check those out over these ones and, and i think it's a valid argument to say well maybe i should just have the jaffa cakes themselves and i think to be honest with you it's hard to recommend the cake bars over the jaffa cakes but they are they are quite nice and i think you just get rid of that dryness of the um of the sponge which these ones do as well um but i think these ones as they just don't the, the medium the, the, the medium of supplying it with, well it's the sponge and the mixture really just mixed together too much and it sort of takes away from the, the overall taste basically so yeah so three and a half out of five mm -hmm. oh yes and of course we can't forget the the travesty that is all the waste of space inside the, the box and things i'm not going to mark it down further from three and a half out of five i think it's you know i think that's an accurate you know i think if it was um we're coming to the sort of pinnacle, the fives, and you know maybe a bit higher up. I think um, I would start to dock it for you know um, then, but I think for three and a half, it's not worth knocking it down any further than that because it's it's not an accurate portrayal of the product. I don't think it's not you know um, yeah. It's hard one to say. I'm just using my judgment for it really. I might contradict myself sometimes, but I'm telling you know at least I'm, I'm letting you. I'm telling you that 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 is something to bear in mind. So you can kind of you know I say you know, knock it down further if you want or bear that in mind when comparing to other things. But yeah. Um, in this case, I'm not marking it down specifically for that, but in other cases, sometimes I do. So, you know, I'll just I'll just do it as I think appropriate, really. And I don't think it's appropriate this time. So, still three and a half out of five. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, uh, Patreon if you can. Um, but as I say, I think the YouTube member pro is probably the best bet now. Um, get exclusive videos and other perks for the channel. Um, so check that out. Um, there's a link in one of these corners up here, I think it is, at some point. Um, yeah, and then leave comments are free either way. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye for now. See ya. Mm -hmm. Bye.